Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John, and this is the first video in a series on the Personal Macro Workbook. So in this first video, we're gonna learn exactly what the Personal Macro Workbook is and how to create one. In the next video, we're gonna learn how to customize the ribbon so you can add macro buttons up here from your Personal Macro Workbook and also add those to the Quick Access Toolbar. And then in the third video, we're gonna learn how to create this yes, no message box, which will appear uh, before your macro runs so you don't accidentally run the macro macro and ruin your workbook or your worksheet. So this should be everything to get you started with using the personal macro workbook and it will definitely help save you a lot of time when you're using Excel. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to create the personal macro workbook. But before I do that, I wanna explain exactly what it is. So I like to think of this as your tool belt for Excel, or ladies, you can think of it as your purse. And basically, it just holds all of your personal macros or the tools that you'll use to get through the day. So these would be tools or macros that help you automate processes, that help you save time when working with Excel. So the personal macro workbook is just an Excel workbook that is saved or stored on your computer and it contains macros or a bunch of code. So here's mine right here. We can see in the, pers in the VB editor, I have this personal.xlsb file. This is the personal macro workbook and it just contains a bunch of modules. These are code modules that I've added that contain macros or code that I can run at any time. And the personal macro workbook will open every time you open Excel. It opens in the background and it's always there, always available for you to use. So you can run these macros anytime. You can also add buttons up here to the ribbon like I have right here in Excel, this My Macros tab. This is a custom tab that I've added that has buttons that run these macros. So that's basically what the personal macro workbook is and it just helps you with store your macros and allow you to use them anytime you want. Okay, so let's go ahead and create the personal macro workbook. So we're gonna use the macro recorder to do this, and we'll also need the developer tab. So if you don't see the developer tab up here in the ribbon, you can easily enable it. Just right click any uh, tab here and choose customize the ribbon, and that'll bring up the Excel options window for customize ribbon. And then over here on the right side, we'll see a list of all the tabs. And we want to check the box next to developer to enable the developer tab. So I'm going to hit OK. And that'll uh, make the developer tab appear up here in the ribbon. The developer tab just contains uh, some buttons here for the Visual Basic Editor, recording macro, inserting controls into your workbooks, and all kinds of different stuff. But we're just going to use this record macro button right here. You can also click it down here in the bottom left left corner of the application window as well. There's a record macro button down there. So I'm gonna click record macro and that's gonna basically bring up this record macro prompt, ask us to create a name. Uh, we're actually gonna create a macro here that's gonna be called add three sheets, something like that. And we're gonna add a few sheets to the workbook. Now the important step is you want to choose where it says store macro in, you wanna choose personal macro workbook, this option right here. And that's going to actually allow us to, or it's going to create a personal macro workbook for us. So I'm going to choose that and hit OK. And basically in the background, it's created a personal macro workbook and it's saving it on our computer. So now we can, uh, we're actually recording a macro. You can tell uh, because it says uh, stop recording up here in the developer tab. And there's also a stop button down here in the bottom left corner. So I'm just going to take some actions here here to add a few sheets. I'm going to insert some sheets into the workbook here, just three sheets, and that will the macro recorder will actually record those actions. So now I'm going to click stop recording to stop recording that, and we're going to jump into the Visual Basic Editor to see the code. So the Visual Basic button right here will open the Visual Basic Editor. The keyboard shortcut is Alt F11. So I'm going to click that. That'll open up the Visual Basic Editor here, and we can see our personal workbook, our personal macro workbook right here. So basically in the project window on the left side, you'll see a list of all the workbooks that are currently open on the computer, including a few of my 
add-ins here, and then we have the personal macro workbook right here. So if we expand this, we can actually see the code modules. If you double click module one, that will show us the uh, macro that we just recorded. So here's the code to add those sheets. Basically sheets.add is a method that will add a new sheet after the active sheet. So now we have this macro here in our personal macro workbook. And this is basically, this workbook is stored on the computer. And in the following video, I'll show you exactly where it's stored and how to view it as well. But basically now we have our personal macro workbook here. And every time we open Excel, this workbook will be here with our macros that we can run. And one really important thing to note is that whenever you're modifying this or making changes to it, you always wanna save the personal macro workbook and to do that you can just click the save button right here in the VB editor so I'll just click that button that'll save any changes I've made to my personal macro workbook so like I said in the next video we'll take a look at where this this workbook is stored on your computer and how to view it and then in a subsequent video we'll look at how to add buttons up to the ribbon to run some of these macros that we use frequently so please leave a comment below if you have any questions about this video. If you'd like to learn more about macros and VBA, then I have a free three-part video training series that will really help you out. In the first video, we write our first macro, and I also explain the Excel object model. If you've ever wondered what the dots between the words mean and what order the code runs in, then this video is for you. In the second video, we automate a common Excel task to create a summary report of all the sheets in the workbook. And finally, in the third video, we build a user form to export the sheets out of the workbook. You can learn more and sign up for the free training at excelcampus.com macros. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.